Meteorologist Joe Hansel with a look at your Tuesday early edition national forecast. And thanks a lot for tuning in. Got a few fronts on the board, one near Florida that'll still drop potentially heavy rain and severe weather today. One cold front causing issues near the Great Lakes region and one long stretching front basically stretching across most of the nation from coast to coast. And that'll bring everything from rain to snow issues potentially through the middle of the week. A lot of heat across kind of arcing over the southern United States, near 90 in Miami, New York City at 71, Phoenix, Arizona, rising up near 93. Compare that to much cooler temperatures behind the fronts in the upper Midwest. There's one marginal risk of severe weather we're keeping tabs on today. Central Florida, including Tampa Bay, marginal risk for large hail and damaging winds and isolated areas with passing thunderstorms today. And also, this is tomorrow from Norfolk, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Dover, New York City. Margin risk is out for the day tomorrow. Starting tonight, widespread freeze warnings stretch from areas near Dallas to Oklahoma City through Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, and areas of southern Michigan, Indianapolis, Indiana, caught in between as well. Protect those crops before you fall asleep tonight, where we're watching for that severe weather in Florida. Also watching for potentially still some moderate to locally heavy rain. One to two additional inches of rainfall with locally heavier amounts will be possible, especially on the Atlantic face inside of Florida. All right, here's that line of snow. Eventually we'll have an area low pressure kick east of the Rockies and work east for like the next two or three days. And on the northern side of that, we're still having some Chilly snow showers wrapping up near Denver. Some heavy snow in the foothills and areas of the Rockies are possible today. Through this afternoon tonight, that area of snowfall stretches through the Great Plains, the southern Rust Belt into the northeast United States. Some moderate to locally heavy snow is possible as this thing powers through, causing travel difficulties today and tomorrow.